Hello! Welcome to another Peachy Reacts. I am going to play episode 3 of season 2 of The Living World of Guild Wars 2. We went backwards that time. It is the Dragon's Reach Part 1. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Episode unlocked. The Dragon's Reach Part 1. Oh, I see some Silvari stuff! From Casimir, Pale Tree will see us. Okay, I I was not expecting just to get a mail that says, all right, we're in, let's go. Here we go. Like we're in. I didn't think we were just gonna be in at the start of the episode. Oh, there's Rox and Bram. And Casimir. Speak with the pale tree about Mordremoth. All right, let's do it. I'm at your service. No, not you. You run with Destiny's Edge. I did for a while. Now I lead a new group. Give us a name! I want to hear your thoughts on this. Tell me, what do you know about Mordremoth? He the dragon, and he's big, and he's in the jungle, and he likes to eat the magic. I'm telling the pale tree about how stuff's going down? The entirety of Tyria is at risk. What do you recommend we do? That's why I came to you! <laughs> I could host such a gathering, if you can convince them to come. Who do you plan to invite? The pale tree's gonna have a party! It's okay. That was kind of anticlimactic. Like, I expected to find all this that stuff out. That seemed to go well. She agreed. What do we do now? Yeah. It was a little too easy. For luck. Oh, rocks. Please. You just spit on the pale tree, rocks. Alright, so we are going right into it. I really thought that this, like, thing, this audience with the pale tree was going to be much bigger. Like, I thought that she was going to, like, know something. Like, she was not going to, she was going to be very secretive or something. I... I, I I didn't expect her to just say, Oh, really? I was in your vision? Well, it must just be something Scarlet saw. And, you know, okay, I'll host a party so we can all talk about what to do about Mordremoth. <laughs> like, that's completely not what I expected, but okay. Um, this talking to all the world leaders should be very interesting. Our camp's under attack by ghosts. Go south and see the, if they need it. What, what? Is. What? Oh. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff as soon as I poured it in here. Alright, so we got these crazy vines that we saw in the trailer. These vines have suddenly uh, sprouted up here in the Iron Marches. Oh, well, they look very static. I kind of wish they were like pulsating, they're just kind of there. Like, when I actually see them pulsating, it it really makes me feel like they're part of Mordremoth and like they're... Yes, I know. Like they're connected to the dragon. But they're still really creepy. Oh, wow, look at that already! A new event! Out here in the Iron Marches, that's cool! Oh no, you won't, Mordremoth! It's just... Oh my goodness, it's a giant Mordremoth. Barrel of flamethrowers. Ban, Mojimoth, ban. So I failed the event, but at least it still let me move on, which, thank God. That's, that's nice. Wow, so these, these Mojimoth vines are, are everywhere. Not just by that outpost. Oh my God, look at the char. No! No! Uh oh. A vine- oh. A vine chamber that they do not want me to go near. Oh no! Wow, look at that. So this is like... Holy crap! Look how far away from Brisbane this is! This is across the friggin' map, Mordremoth means. Jeez. Oh, look at the char! 
No. There's the vans. And the vans. And the char. No. Great, so now we got Mordermoth corruption and Kalkadork corruption. This is not the fun times. So new events out in the open world. This is not an instance. Ah I no. no. Punch your way out. Eh no. Eh. Oh, cool animation on that. Where am I? What? Uh oh. Am, am I still inside something? I'm still punching to get out, but I don't I don't see me. I think I've turned into light. Not the leg. I have turned into light, I think. I have encountered a glitch. Uh oh. Uh oh. I am shining green light. No! I am the light of Mordremoth. I have turned into pure energy. Mordrem, there we go! You don't even know what to do with me. I was Mordremoth energy. Oh uh, no! Uh. I've seen the eternal mm -hmm. alchemy. So sometimes I just become energy. So part of the living world story is to do the new events out in the open world. I kind of like that. I don't like doing these events by myself, but I like that they show you these new events and you actually don't even have to succeed at them. You just have to take part in them and you get credit for the living world and you can move on. It shows you the new events and you just have to try them out. Because otherwise people probably wouldn't even ever see these new events they put out in the world. And it shows you the story. I mean, these events, as all events, they, they have something to do with the lore and something to do with the story. So, but you don't always know, don't always know what events spawn when, and so you can very easily miss them. So by making them part of the actual story that you have to go through, so you have to do these events. I like that. Mysterious seed planned in a ley line infused clay pot to germinate. Do I want to grow a mysterious Mordrum seed? The spoils of battle. I don't know. For Iron Legion. Yeah. There it is. Oh my. Doesn't look very nice. It's like plant like and undead. It's even easier to see these things now that this one's big. Ew. What? It, it like split into two! Oh, and two of these wolves is not good! Save yourself. No! That's their whole thing, deadly when flanking. I'm not gonna survive this. No, 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 no! No, you will not flank me! Yes! No! So, Bram told me about the summit you're planning. And I talked to Soja. You did? Well, we got a, a tiny mention of Soja. <laughs> Looks like we're not going to see her. Nobody's rescued these poor little Sura. So, so Flux, or whatever his name is, and, and Timey and everybody just, uh, they just walked in here past these dead Sura and just left them there. Although those might be in quest, so they probably didn't care. <laughs> The Waypoint Conundrum. It sounds like an episode of the Big Bang Theory. Do not speak to your elders in such a tone. I won't have it. This dude's voice. I thought you'd never get here. She's so little. He won't commit. He says it's all on hinges whether my device works or not. Okay, let me talk to him. Because a Norn is going to be able to convince an Asura. Where you going, Timey? Where, where you going? Where you going? Oh, it's, oh it's, no. You're so sad. Oh, where you 
going? How carry you, Timey? Oh, look at this thing. This is Timey's waypoint fixer. That I can't see. There. Cool. Timey works fast. I am gonna need your help to build this thing. I am Norn. I cannot build things. I smash things. Let me load up Scruffy with a few detection algorithms to help you out. Sweet. She's spying. How may I assist you? Are, are you spying on Timey over here? Oi. <laughs> Aww, that was a cute little animation of her getting on top of Scruffy. I'm gonna need to take this to the heart of the ley line chamber. Watch your step down the ramp. Oh boy. From the center here, we can hop on whatever confluence of ley lines Omad's crazy box ran on. And once <laughs> the device is fully active, it'll adjust the waypoint's energy configuration to be bland and uninteresting to Mordramont. The eternal alchemy contains every answer. Ho 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 ho! Is that true? She relayed our invitation to the Queen and surprisingly replied quickly. Queen Jenna will attend the summit. I don't like that really doesn't sit right with me. I mean I don't like the logistical idea of them splitting up, but I like the way like it's like a bunch of little cogs in the machine working together. Like, okay, Casper went and talked to Countess Anissa, and now she's gonna stay and help protect Tiny. Well, I go with Bram, and then I'm sure we'll go to Rocks, and I, I, I kind of like how this is all kind of going step by step. Oh my gosh, we actually get to talk to Air? I'm excited. From Traherne? I have some things to tell you about the Pact and our plans for Mordramoth. Oh ho ho! Oh boy! Talking to Traherne. Oh man, I love the return of all these characters. Characters from the personal story and just, I mean, we haven't seen most of them since the personal story. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of bringing the story back around because the personal story was all about Destiny's Edge and bringing down Zaitan and, and it was about combining all of the races. And now we're combined. We're kind of doing that again. It's like we, they know that we've br already brought down an Elder Dragon. So you would think that it would be real easy. Like, okay, another one is starting to seriously wreak havoc and we need to deal with it right now. So we have to do this again. And it's seeming like that's not so easy. It's not so obvious that, okay, let's, we need, obviously need to combine our efforts to bring down another Elder Dragon. You would think everybody would just be like right on board because it's been proven that we can do it, but apparently that's not the case. Okay, so there's a totem that we have to bring down. That's what I kind of figured. That's why they were showing us the ice brood in the trailer was because we were going to have to do a favor for the Norn to have them help us. On air, incoming. Hold the area and wipe them out in whatever way makes you feel heroic. <laughs> Arrow carts make me feel heroic. Ah, broke my arrow cart, you jerk. Yay. Boom yaks. I got the boom yaks achievement. This one's excited. Look at him. Hiding behind walls won't save you now. Time to have some fun. Jormag is an elder dragon, and he's going to eat you. Already? Die! I think I'm going to need my friend's help for this one. Oh, they're all dead. I bet you're expecting me to reveal Dragon's plan while we fight. I'm not really worried about Jormag right now, to be honest. This dragon talk to you when you sleep. Shut up. 
destroy. Oh, that was easy. All right, join up with Aaron Bram. Yeah, weren't they supposed to like come from the other side? Mission accomplished. Woo! Yeah, I'd almost forgotten what it was like to fight in the cold. Let Aaron Bram have a moment. Well done, Bram. That was impressive. So. <laughs> so, let's head back to Holbrook and we can celebrate with a feast. What do you say? Ah. That was a that that was a moment between Norn. I'm starting to understand why she left. You can't move mountains with a child on your back. So she left him. So was that our first clue that we've ever gotten? as to why their relationship was rocky is so when she went to be a part of Destiny's Edge and fight Krakatoric, she he must have been very young and so she just had to leave and maybe she didn't explain that I would think that among the Norn that would be almost excusable or almost okay if they were going off to do this great heroic feat then that would be a good excuse but apparently not unless there's more to the story oh cool is that Ritlock? no the horns are a little different if it hadn't been for our friend here Scarlet would still be out there murdering people and ruining Tyria one his city his voice is so awesome yes Tribune at ease, soldier. What's up, Ritlock? How you been? As a matter of fact, that's why I asked you to come in person. I carry Sohothan, my blade. It's said to have the power to reverse the foe fire. Is that true, or just a myth? I plan to test it. After years of research, I finally found the proper combination of elements to unlock the sword's powers. You could rid us of all the ghosts? That's the idea. We do that and Smoter will have less to worry about. Then we can convince him to attend the summit. He's been researching this? Combination of elements to... So like what exactly it would take. Aww. We have to go find the crown fragments? Is that going to be all that's required? The two swords and there's a crown too? So is that what it means? Like an heir of Ascalon? It would just be an item? That would be kind of lame. We could really eliminate all of these ghosts. Whoa! Ow. Ah! What? What? Look at this guy, he stole some Asuran technology. So, these like super important crown pieces, these like all powerful artifacts that are the key to reversing the faux fire, are just in a rock pile in the middle of nowhere? Look at these oh, kids, yes, calm see down. That. Come closer, my little champion. All right, got the pieces of the crown. Kind of thought it would be a little harder. Let's do this, Ritlock. Let's do this. Faux fire cleansing. There it is. Oh man, is this gonna work? Whoa! You made it. There's smoke. Not that I doubted you for a minute. Ritlock should be the imperator just by his voice alone. It came into my care several years ago. How did you get it? Please tell us! Irrelevant! No! <laughs> you won't tell us! Damn it! I've long suspected that Sahothan is the blade that can break the curse. Oh, interesting. So, since Magdare inflicted the curse, Sahothan is the one that can break it. Oh. Oh boy, here we go, you guys! Let's do this crazy thing! I don't know about this, about completely going against the 
you know, the whole thing about only a true heir of Ascalon can break it, unless there's something else to it. <sighs> okay, guys. Let's do this. You have to be ready. This could go in any direction. There's no way of predicting what this ritual will do. Then why are you doing it? Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Ritlock. Ritlock. Do it, Ritlock. Ascalon, I free you from this curse. Oh. I have to go after it. Without it, we'll never end this war. What? Go! What? Where are you going, Ritlock? I need to go after him. The portal what? is closed. You can't. Where'd he go? Stand down, soldier. You'll be fine. If anything, I'd be uh. worried for the poor souls that get in his way. <laughs> this is his mission, not yours. Ridlock's just gone! Where'd he go? What was that a portal to? Where is he? Where'd he go? So, what happened to Ridlock? Like, we don't even know what that portal was. If only the portal hadn't closed so quickly. I suppose there's no way to find him. No, none. The mists are vast. Are you alright? How do I just know? Nope! I am suddenly the mist expert. And, cause that was actually the first thing I thought of was when they said that he went into the mists. I was like, well, we have other ways into the mists. So there's a possibility that we can find him. Well, we're just going, nope, nope, there's none. We can't find him. Last goodbye. And just like that, he's gone. A bag of his old belongings is all that's left. Ritlark's just gone. Oh, man. So, like, he didn't even, like, say what that was. There was just a portal that opened up. Did he... Did Ritlock know that that was gonna happen? That there was just gonna be this random portal to the mists? I mean, did... Did he do the wrong ritual? Did he do the one that he wanted? Uh, Smoter was saying that the uh, attempt to reverse the curse of the faux fire just failed. There's still ghosts, so maybe there's more to it. I mean, did Ritlock explain the entire ritual to them? And they, like, I, I don't know. I, uh, I mean, this is just part one, so I was kind of wanting this big giant, you know, this <laughs> this big giant wow moment at the end of this, of course. But it's it's kind of okay that this this was just kind of a this one was a little more low key than especially last episode. Because last episode was mind blowing, seeing the eternal alchemy. This episode, episode three, honestly, was uh, just a whole bunch of... A bunch of... We got a bunch of story. We, we got um, a whole lot of dialogue, a whole lot of uh, talking and story and character development. Um, but as for the action, it was pretty much just a bunch of open world dynamic events. Like I said before, I, I like the idea of them leading you to the events and having the events in the world like these dynamic events really mean something because they're actually an integral part of the story you have to do them in order to progress the story so they they have a bigger purpose than just being oh my cows are being stolen so can you help me kill the bandits <laughs> that are stealing my cows no it's like you know we need to cleanse the ghosts so we can find this piece of the crown, or we need to actually uh, defeat um, some of Morgmoth's minions that have popped up. You know, we, we can't, our, our, our fort's being overrun, we can't handle it, so stop them. Help us cut down on the number of Mordrum before they overtake the fort. And so thus the fort is still standing. So, uh, so that's kind of cool, I like that. Um, hopefully... Part two, if it is just uh, two parts, it could be more. We could have three or four parts to this. We don't know. 
Um, I'm hoping that part two, if it is the last part, is, is going to have another big wow moment. We're going to have to wait and see um, next week what the trailer brings um, and see maybe if something's going to come of um, either uh, the, the summit, um, everybody, all the world leaders meeting at the Pale Tree to talk about what to do about Mordremoth, um, or if something comes of trying to reverse the faux fire curse because Ritlock just jumping into a portal and disappearing and everyone going, oh, he'll be fine, he knows what he's doing and he's been in tougher scrapes than this. What is this portal that opened up? I, uh, I, that is my biggest question immediately. Um, oh, I was kind of hoping that we would see the actual meeting. Um, so hopefully next week we're going to uh, see all of the world leaders or the, the race leaders uh, meet up at the Pale Tree and hopefully, um, hopefully all of them sh actually show up, especially, um, Flux, Flux, whatever his name is. Um, hopefully we actually see, hopefully he actually shows up. I think if he shows up, I think the rest of them are going to show up, no problem. Um, so, you know, we're just going to have to see if all of them agree. I don't see how they can't agree because they obviously see that Mordremoth is uh, a clear and present danger and a threat. So, um, and then, okay, if, if they agree to help us, what's the next step? What does that mean? Are, are we going to assemble our armies against him? And, 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 and while we're deciding this and while we're doing this, what is... Mordremoth's next move going to be because obviously his corruption is spreading very very quickly um, so there could even be some new threat while we're trying to decide all of this while Ritlock's gone trying to cleanse the ghosts um, which apparently doesn't really have any immediate uh, connection to Mordremoth it was more trying to help out the char um but we obviously got Smoter's blessing here, so uh, so that's good. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. All right. So thank you so much for watching and for listening to my uh, my theories and my predictions. Um, and I hope you guys had fun with this episode and are looking even more forward to part two of the Dragon's Reach. All right. I'm Aurora Peachy. And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Bye!